I'm hunting with a muzzle loader for deer from a kayak. You heard that right. On the kayak today, wrapped up in my coat, I've got my muzzle loader. I mostly just brought this coat just to wrap the muzzle loader in. The muzzle loader is loaded because you can shoot from a kayak here in Manitoba. And uh, I'm just gonna cruise some islands looking for deer and then uh, I'll stop at a swamp probably and uh, hunt for some swamp deer. Stay tuned. It's basically what I'm doing is um, I'm just gonna be quiet going around corners. Um, this one I'm not concerned about but uh, there are other corners that I'm gonna be coming around that I'm gonna be careful coming around to be quiet so I can hopefully sneak up on a deer. I don't need to get too close to get them with the muzzle loader, but I would like to get within a hundred or so yards. Oops, just hit a rock. But uh, yeah, try and get around this corner and uh, start looking for deer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know how steady, I don't know how good that shot was. He didn't take off too fast, but I'm gonna reload here real quick. And uh, then we'll go take a look. Oh my gosh, it's a nice four by four buck. And I just, I, I couldn't get a shot, couldn't get a shot. Finally lined up a shot. <clears throat> Click. My primers are at my pack, which I set down so that I could sneak better. When I went and got another primer, he spotted me. I think I had a shot at his vitals. Squeezed it off. He kind of trotted off. I'm hoping I hit him, but. It's not looking good, guys. It was pretty thick. The bush was pretty thick where I shot, so let's reload real quick and get out of there. Well, I'm back at the kayak. Searched for a few hours. Did not find a speck of blood. Did not find deer. Looked around quite a ways. I'm gonna review the footage when I get home. I might, uh, it looks like I might have hit him still somehow. I'll come back in the morning. But uh, it was just uh, too thick, I think, on the bush. If my uh, gun would have gone off the first try, I would have got him, I'm sure, because he was in the open. I had a clean shot at the vitals. Uh, the second shot, or second, second shot attempt, I should say. He, um, I had an opening at his vitals and I shot at it. Something must have happened. Probably hit 
get some brush. Unless something happened to my scope at some point, but. Well, I'm gonna hop in the kayak and cruise the shoreline a bit more and uh, head home. And I might come back out in the morning. Stay a few hours. Go home for lunch. Crash. Oh, he was like 10 yards. I think we got him. He was like 10 yards, but the crosshairs right on his chest. Didn't get any closer than that. And uh, I'm pretty sure I just watched him go down too. I hear him kicking a couple times and now I think he's done. Give it a bit. Five minutes and we'll go over there. Big buck. That was a big buck. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, he's way back there. <laughs> he didn't go nearly as far as I thought he did there. Got him now. We got him. Big buck. Nice. We got him. Oh no, he's got a tag in him. Uh oh. Look at this, guys. Call before eating. Oh, man. Well, maybe I should call that number. <clears throat> maybe I should call that number, and if he's been tranquilized in the last year, that means he can't be eaten. That's really interesting. That's really weird. Look at him, he's a nice five by five. Real nice buck. Now what I always do, I harvest any big game animal. I take my hat off, which camera's on. Say a prayer. 
and thank God for blessing me with this with this animal. So. <laughs> okay, so let's find out if I can even eat him. <laughs> okay, one eight hundred. Well, folks, here is my 2021 rifle buck. Nice 5x5. Five five. Um, still waiting to hear back from the conservation officer on the ear tag. Um, see if the meat's good to eat. But uh, he's pretty sure it, uh, it was tagged last year. Um, he's pretty sure he was the one that tagged it. Um, but he just needs to check on the uh, license or on the tag number and make 100% sure. But he sent me a picture of it last year. It looks almost identical, um, except it's a little bit bigger this year. I've got some help to get him back because he's a little bit big to put on the kayak. Um, I could, I could do it, but uh, might as well get help if I can. Um, and helps around. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Super slam that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and tune in next time for another awesome video.